Hello everyone, welcome. My name is MJ Prestridge. Welcome to another P3D video. Today we're going to be talking all about True Sky and Enhanced Atmospherics and to sort of go through what exactly it is because I kind of get the feeling from a lot of people I watch either streaming videos or that I talk to that I don't know if they fully understand exactly what EA is. Um, and what volumetric clouds really means. Um, I kind of get the feeling that a lot of people just think it's a visual style um, of a way to produce the, you know, the sky and the atmosphere of clouds, you know. But it, it actually is so much more than that. So in this video, we're going to actually look at both EA volumetric sky and the legacy clouds and the legacy textures and colors that are used and kind of pick apart what it exactly it means to use both. So let's start. So right now I'm using uh, volumetric clouds and EA with the default sort of setting of what the sim produces you know i'm not using any weather engine at the moment I'm not, i haven't loaded it up yet but um this is exactly just what is given to us you know by default of the sim with um ea and true sky um volumetric clouds now volumetric clouds are you know these clouds in the sky as you can see and ea is the light coming off the blinding sun they're right there <laughs> oh my gosh that is really bright <laughs> okay um the reason it's really bright is because um ea sun um uses the actual uh luminescence value of our sun in our solar system so it can be quite blinding you know um in some areas of the world and that is just true of real life now if i was to turn ea off if we come up here and just quickly disable ea um, and the volumetric clouds automatically get disabled as well and obviously this now world re-renders and here we have a texture now loading into the sky so now we have sky textures and sky colors which are textures as well and the actual light coming off you notice is completely different it's now a simulated light that is scattering around this um, Iceland where we are um, it's not actually like actual light bouncing off everything it's just you know textures and um and 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 like a light brightness value that is it um how it's measured is just simulated it's not actually like real world anything so the way that it bounces off this uh water here is uh just a, a, a simple texture reflection the way that it bounces off the land and the way it bounces off these individual lights down here is all just simulated it's not actually any real world data being used or anything like that it's just you know textures and brightness you know now if i was to bring back the volumetric clouds so we turn that on we turn that up So if I was to bring back the volumetric clouds and EA, you can see that it looks completely different. The way that the sunlight now hits off the um, water here is now dependent on actually what is above. And as you can see, we've got clouds above, which is where this big, massive shaded area now comes from. Whereas we didn't have that before because it was simulated. So now the sunlight in the sim is actually refracting and reflecting and bouncing off real world sim objects that are appearing in my sim so the clouds are now casting real shadows um through with the sunlight so the sunlight's not getting through where the clouds are whereas if when we turned it off and we had ea dis disabled you know 
that wasn't the case. Sunlight just goes through because it's simulated. It's not actually real world. Now, some people might go, yeah, but I prefer the look of the sky textures and sky colors and the, the clouds themselves. I just, I, you know, it's the way flight simulation has always been and it's the way I enjoy it. Well, hey, that's, that's great. Like, I, I've always used it this way as well. But one thing I realized with the advent of version five is that EA Enhanced Atmospherics is actually simulating real light. You know, the the way sunlight from our sun is measured in terms of lumens um, and the way that it casts upon our Earth at different gradients, different strengths, depending if you're in the poles or the equator, um, it actually happens that way for real in the side the simulator so if you turn on ea and even if you have volumetric clouds turned off you're getting real um real world lighting basically even if you are having textures in the sky you're actually getting real world lighting applied into the sim and it kind of makes the textures even themselves look a lot different so you know the um the textures of this plane look very different when you know real sunlight is bouncing off it or when it's simulated sunlight is bouncing off it you know um it's very different so um now in terms of the clouds i mean that's that's enhanced atmospherics now that's what ea is ea is real sunlight basically um so if you activate it or deactivate it you're going to get different completely different results and for me i personally have a preference of simulating real life rather than simulating a simulation um, now in terms of volumetric clouds again these are textures these are flat 2d textures um, these are the default ones as well i haven't even loaded a weather engine but um, as you can see they look a certain way and if we were to actually activate volumetric clouds they're completely replaced with something else. Now, some people might go, yeah, but these look like ass. I don't actually like the look of these. I don't think they look realistic. And do you know what? I'm with you on that one. That is exactly why I tweak my volumetric cloud CFG. And um, it, you know, it looks completely different, especially depending on like the, the weather theme you use. Like that was fair weather. So if we go and put in Orbex weather seven, like, well, it isn't, it isn't, you know, incorrect, mate. You just, just load it. Um, they'll look completely different, you know. And the same as if we loaded one, say, like, building storms. You know, that again would have a different, completely visual look. And to be honest, I find profiles are actually pretty good sort of training you know scenarios you know if you just want a quick and easy scenario to train in choose a profile and you'll get a pretty decent weather uh, you know attached um but uh yeah for me like these profiles they're they're one way to do it and they're one way to enhance the volumetric clouds look of the volumetric clouds another way is as well is to introduce a weather engine such as active sky um rec sky force or even the freeware one no matter which one you use they're all using the same weather data so they're all pulling live weather from their source and then implementing it into the sim now um, depending on where you are in the world is depending on how that will appear and look inside the this the, the the sim as the weather so um i prefer to use skyforce it doesn't try and change the sim connects it just uses the legacy sim connect and for me i think skyforce is much more stable than active sky and a lot of people will disagree with me but that's my preference you know um everyone has a preference and that is absolutely fine um but using a weather engine will change the way the clouds look you know like this is going to use real sort of real world data now to this area of iceland that we're in and it's going to change the the way it looks in the in the skies as well in a second um but what volumetric clouds really is is far beyond just a visual look now like i said before i agree with most people when they say the volumetric clouds don't look as real they don't look as good i agree with you on that one um what it is far outweighs that you know volumetric clouds is actually an air density 
that is applied into the sim. So these clouds, which are shader based, there's no textures to them, which means that they perform better in your sim than actual loading actual textures. But what it actually means is that there's actual density within those clouds. There's actual precipitation within those clouds. If I was to turn off the volumetric clouds and just use the legacy clouds, well, they're just 2D textures in the sky. They don't contain precipitation. They don't contain density. Um, Skyforce can simulate the volumetric cloud status of those clouds, but it's not real. It's, simula it's simulated density. You know, volumetric clouds, when you enable them, actually puts real air density into your atmosphere. So, do you know this little barometric barra reading here, right? That will actually change over time, you know, depending on how high we are. And it will be a real value because of the volumetric clouds. Um, Whereas if you turn off volumetric clouds, it's a simulated barometric reading, which just changes with what level you are at. So if you're at 10,000 feet, 20,000 feet, it's going to be just a, a set amount. Whereas in volumetric clouds, you actually get the real barrow reading that will change dynamically depending on what altitude you're at, depending on what air pressure you're at. And for me, Flying a plane in volumetric air pressure is so much more realistic than flying it without volumetric air pressure or simulated volume volumetric air pressure. Um, because the way you land the plane is so much more different. If you turn off volumetric clouds and you're not getting that real air pressure, your plane is going to react differently to the landing, you know. Um, then if you have it turned on, you now have air pressure that your plane has to kind of, that you have to compensate for on your landing, you know. Um, it affects the winds, it affects everything. Um, and for me, that f is far more realistic than turning it off. Now, I understand most people enjoy the volume or enjoy the skies and their sky textures and their sky colors because that's the way it used to be. You know, they used to put sky textures in and sky colors and FSX and early versions of P3D. And I get that where a oh, man, I've always done this and it's always looked great. But for me, it's not about the look. It's about the simulation. And so that's why I use volumetric clouds during the day. And I in the past, I've always had to turn them off. But nowadays, I actually still get my stargazer even with EA active. So I can now have EA active at night time and still see the world above. Whereas before, in previous versions, if I wanted to see the night sky, in fact, we're going to have to climb above the clouds in order to see this one. I mean, look at that. Gorgeous. Actually struggling to climb at 10,000 feet. Can you believe it? Yeah, I think we're in the pockets of hell here. We're inside of a cloud, you see, so it's really struggling to climb against the air pressure. We're going to crack through in a minute. We're breaking through now. Here we go. We're breaking through. So, look up to the night sky. Before, in versions 5.2 and beyond, or earlier versions, in order to see this night sky, which is Stargazer from uh, Creative Design Studios, I had to disable EA. I couldn't have it turned on. I had to disable volumetric clouds because I wouldn't actually see any of this here. Now, I can actually have it turned on and still see it and in all its beauty. Because like they, they've enhanced EA a lot better now. 
It's do at night time. It now works. EA at night is now working. Obviously, with the clouds and everything, you know, they st it still needs. It's still got a bit to go, but uh, it, it does behave in the way you would expect in real life. Anyway, I just wanted to explain basically the difference between EA and and non EA and using volumetric clouds and not using volumetric clouds because I just I think a lot of people have this misconception of actually it's visuals only like they just think it's some sort of visual enhancement. It's actually much more than visuals only. Where's the ground? I feel like we're gonna hit it. There it is. Boom. Ooh, it comes with its own. Th lightning as well by the way but yeah it's much more than just um you know visuals on the ground um it's 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 actual real world you know data you know and i think it gives much more realistic simulator than having it turned off like the, the clouds themselves can look realistic like really good um the the, the textures all look really good you know the, the, the enhancement for having EA turned on is obvious. So for me, I'll always have EA turned on now. Um, nighttime or, or, or whatever. Um, obviously, there's still more work to go. There are still more tweaks to go. But at the end of the day, I much prefer simulating real air density and real sunlight values than having simulated like fake ones of that. Anyway guys thank you so much for watching um also don't forget um every month comment in my videos one lucky winner will receive sim market vouchers to the value of 50 depending on which you know area of the world you live in um at the end of the month there is a one lucky winner who is drawn up and uh, will receive those vouchers uh, all you have to do is put a comment be a subscriber and put a comment down below and i will choose one lucky winner um and you know thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and i shall see you in the next video take care bye bye it's like jurassic park now isn't it going off into the sunset da -da 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 -da. look at those waves look at the waves dudes look at those waves <laughs> anyway.